Welcome to the how-to video for creating a simple PVT model in IMEX using internal correlations. In cases where extensive lab tests have not been done to characterize the fluid in the reservoir, using the internal IMEX correlations is a very easy and effective way of generating the PVT information. To use the correlation method for generating the PVT, click on the component section in the tree view. Click on the arrow besides components and then select the option Quick Fluid Model. Here leave it selected as the black oil model and then click OK. So this should bring up the window for generating a quick black oil model. Here we have to add in the basic information needed for the correlations to calculate the PVT. First enter the reservoir temperature. In this case, I'm working with SI units, so it's going to be in Celsius. The second row is for the maximum pressure, and this is the absolute maximum pressure you should be seeing in your reservoir at any given time. So your reservoir pressure should never go above this value. So here I'm going to set it to be 35,000 kPa. The next row is for my bubble point pressure. So I can either choose to leave it to generate from the GOR value, or I can actually manually specify the bubble point pressure, which is what I'll do. I'll specify it to be 7,500 kPa. Next, we need to specify the oil and gas density. So there's multiple ways to specify the oil density. By clicking on this dropdown, you can either specify a stock tank oil density, a stock tank oil gravity, or a stock tank oil gravity with an, just an API value. So I'll specify an API value and set it to be 18. Lastly, I have to specify the gas density. So I can either specify the gas density or the gas gravity. In this case, I'll specify the gas gravity and specify it to be 0 0.75. The last three rows will impact the calculation of your water phase properties. If you'd like to specify a pressure dependence on the water viscosity or increase the salinity of the formation water, you can easily do that here. If you don't want to make any changes, just default values will be used to calculate the properties for water, which is what I'll do in this case. So I'll leave everything as it is and then click OK. So now I have a green check mark beside the components section indicating that my PVT has been generated correctly. So here I can see a graphical relationship between my RS, my BO, and my BG versus pressure. So this is my RS and BO versus pressure. This is the first plot. If I click on the second one, I can see my BG versus pressure. And then if I click on the third one, I can see the viscosity of oil and gas versus pressure. So I can see that relationship here as well. You can also see this information in a tabular format by double clicking on PVT region 1 in the tree view. So in the general tab you have the basic information that you had entered initially, the reservoir temperature, the density of oil, gas and water, and also the water properties that were just calculated based on default values. If you click on the PVT table tab here at the top, you can see the relationship between pressure and RS, BO, BG, etc. So all that information is easily visible here. So now you can compare this data to any data that you have access to about your own reservoir fluid to see if everything actually matches up. If the values calculated from the correlations are very different from the fluid data that you may have, you can try changing the correlations to see if you can actually improve the match. This can be done quite easily by clicking on this Tools option and then selecting Generate PVT using correlations. So here, you're given all the correlations that were used to calculate all the different properties. For example, if your oil properties weren't matching up, you can change the correlation for the oil properties from the standing correlation to any other one. For example, you can select the Vasquez-Beggs correlation and then recalculate your properties to see if you get a much closer match.
In this case, I'll leave everything as it is, so I'll just click Cancel. And in this window, the last thing I want to talk about is this undersaturated data tab. So if you have your BO compressibility or your viscosity information for your oil above your bubble point, you can actually specify all of that in a tabular format in this specific window. In this case, I don't have any such data, so I'll just click Cancel. So that's how you create a simple PVT model for black oil simulations. Thank you for watching.